Let's learn how to make these animated characters in After Effects. They are very easy to create and you can use them to create some engaging content like this. So let's see how to make this. Alright, so I'm in After Effects and in order to create this character animation, I'm going to use this video of myself talking, but it's completely up to you, you can record video of about any object and just import it in After Effects. So first let's create a composition for our video. So I'm going to select this and drag it into this one. So now we are ready to create our character. So for that I'm going to create another composition. Let's call this one main. Width and height will be 1920 by 1080 frame rate 30 fps and duration you can pick whatever you want. Just click on OK. To draw the character we are going to use the pen tool. So I'm going to select this and let's just click over here and let's click one at this point as well and i'm going to click and drag so that we have this curved line but we are not going to use this curve we just only want it over here hold down shift key to create a perfectly straight line like this so after that we can change the fill to none we don't want any fill and stroke we can increase it to quite a bit it's completely up to you can do it however you want depending upon what width you want and after that i'm going to change the cap of it so search for cap and under the line cap i'm going to set this to rounded and let's play around with its thickness and we can easily change the size of it by simply clicking and moving these around like that once you're happy with this we can apply some colors to this so let's search for gradient ramp let's apply it and i'm going to change this to a little bit blue this one we can make it darker Again, the color part is completely up to you and let's position them to this part. So once we're done with this, we can enhance this more by simply adding some inner glow. So right click, let's go to layer style and let's add some inner glow. Let's open this up. I'm going to increase the size to something like that and let's change the color. I'm going to make this a little bit like that yeah this looks good to me perfect so here we have this now let's add our eyes and mouth so for that let's select this and select the ellipse tool and let's just quickly enable the title action save and you can press ctrl r to get the ruler and let's just move the ruler and i'm going to align it in the center now we can select this and let's quickly align these points as well to the center and let's just select this one and i'm going to align it to the center so we have everything perfectly lined up now we can select the ellipse tool and just hold on the shift key and let's draw a ellipse and on this one we can set the stroke to zero and let's increase the fill make it white color let's align it to the center using the align panel if you're not able to see the align panel then you can go to windows and from here you can enable it Let's select this and I'm going to move it to somewhere around here. I think this looks good. Let's select this and I'm going to duplicate it by pressing Ctrl D. Let's select the top one and I'm going to hold on the shift key and using the arrow keys. Let's move it to this side and this one to the other side. So here we have the eyes. Now we can select them and let's duplicate them once again and I'm going to move them to the top and onto this one we can apply fill and let's just change their color to black to make the eye pupil let's copy this and i'm going to paste it onto this one now select both of them press s and i'm going to use decrease this scale so here we have these really nice eyes and let's just quickly color code them so that we can easily see them so this is our body and i'm going to make it red this is our left eye so I'm going to call this LE and this is our left pupil so LP and let's place them right next to each other I'm going to change them to yellow and this we can call it and this one right pupil perfect let's draw our mouth as well so again let's select the ellipse tool and for this one we can just simply draw a circle like that and let's move them a little bit to the top we can apply fill to this as well and i'm going to change this to black let's make its anchor point in the center so you can hold on the control key double click on this pan anchor tool so here we have our character now in order to rig this quickly what we can do is we can select this base layer 
and let's open up the shape and go to path select this path now we are going to make use of the control create null from path script so just go to windows and from here you can find the script which is create nulls from path just click on that now it will give you this panel make sure that this path is selected now click on points to null so it will create two null points and we are going to use the top one which is this one so let's move this to the very top now we can select all of these layers but first we are going to parent the pupil to their eyes so left pupil will be parented to the left eye so just pick whip and let's parent it to this one let's parent it to this one so that whenever we move the eye the pupil will move it with itself and now we can select the eye and the mouth and let's just parent them to the shape now if i move this shape you can see that we have this everything moving with it and we have perfectly rigged our character now once you're done with this we are ready to animate this out so the animation is completely up to you it's quite easy all we have to do is just play around with some position and scales let's select them and let's do one more thing so over here we have these pupil now if i select this and if i move it you can see that it is going out of this eye which we don't want so what we can do is we can select this and let's track mat it to the bottom layer now if you are not able to see the track mat option then you probably using the older versions and in the newer versions you can just simply pick whip and just select the bottom layer and if you're using the older version then you will have to like place this layer on top of this then change the alpha mat but i would recommend you to update it out so now we are not able to see the base layer but we can enable it by like that let's do the same thing with this one as well let's enable it like this now what this will do is if i move it you can see that now we we cannot see our pupil outside this eye which is exactly what we want let's quickly animate this out so before we continue if you enjoy my work and you want to support me then you can check out my patreon page over there you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so make sure to check it out link for that is in the description now let's continue first we can add a keyframe for position let's move this somewhere around here and in the beginning we can move everything down we can get rid of the ruler by pressing ctrl r let's move this down and let's move these keyframes closer select them press f9 so here you can see we have this moment and let's just go to this point we can have little bit of stay so copy and paste let's go to this point we can move it to this side and let's copy and paste so we are basically holding it to this position and after that we can move it to the other side and let's copy this keyframe and let's move it to this position and at this one we can move it to the middle now we can select all the keyframes press f9 let's go to the graph editor make sure you're using the speed graph not the value graph let's select them and i'm going to quickly change the graph to look like this so we have this sharp in the middle so here you can see we have this very nice character now in the same way you can like just keep on going and just repeat this step now once you're done with this we can have some animation in the face as well so first i'm going to create the blinking animation which is actually quite easy so let's select both of these eyes let's press s and i'm going to uncheck these values let's add keyframe for scale now let's move three frames ahead so you can probably press the page down key three times or you can just manually move it so one two three frames and i'm going to set the y value to zero for both of them let's move three frames and let's just copy the first keyframe and paste it let's do the same thing over here as well select the keyframes press f9 and let's just change them to like this so if now if i press play you can see we have this very nice blinking and it's completely up to you can play around with them and let's move them a little bit ahead so we have this blinking in the beginning and we can move a little bit ahead just copy these these keyframes and paste them just copy and paste so you can see we have these blinkings now in the same way you can like just keep on copying and pasting them to create some random blinkings here and there perfect now let's animate them as well so we can select these two let's press p for position let's add keyframes and as we are moving to this point we can have these keyframes over here let's move to this side and we can move the eyes to 
the side so that the character is looking this way now we can move the pupil as well so let's select both of these pupils let's press p for position let's add keyframe and i'm going to move them to the side as well so here you can see now our character is looking to the side you can select the keyframes press f9 and we are going to do the same kind of easing for all of these keyframes and let's do it over here as well perfect i think we can move these keyframes closer as well now we can do the same thing in the other direction so just copy these keyframes to add the hold and just paste them now as it is moving to the other side we can move these eyes to the other direction and we can change the pupil location as well let's move them to the other side so now it is looking over here we can move them little bit up as well so here you can see we have our character and now we have added some really nice features to it and in the beginning we can just simply copy the first keyframe and just paste them so that everything comes to their original position now in the same way we can play around with the mouth as well so let's select this and let's press s and we can probably uncheck these let's select this let's press p for position as well now in the beginning we can like make it really small so let's just check them and i'm going to make this like that and as we are moving to this one we can make it bigger and we can move it a little bit to this side as well now we can copy these keyframes and just paste them to add a stay and at this one we can move it to this point and let's make them smaller just copy and paste and at this one we can just copy and paste it once again so let's select them press f9 again we are doing the same easing with all the keyframes so here you can see we have this very nice character with this mouth animation now in the same way you can like just keep on going and keep on repeating this step till you have a fully animated character so once you're done with this we are ready to add this character onto our footage so i'm going to add this character onto my shoulder so for that we have to roto out this video so let's select this and go to the roto brush tool double click on this now it will open up this window area to rotate this out we are going to just simply click and drag and it will start painting now you can see that it has already picked this location we can change the quality to best and once you're happy with this we can probably like select this area as well let's hide this one we can select this so once you're happy with this we can move click and move a little bit ahead just to see if your track is or the roto is sticking to its location yeah it is it is going doing a good job so you can pick whatever area you want to freeze out so i'm going to just freeze out to let's freeze out the whole footage so once you're happy with this you can just simply click on this freeze icon and after effects will start freezing or rotoscoping this area out so once it is done i will come back so now the roto is complete and you can see that we have our cutout now we want to see the actual video as well so we can duplicate this and let's select the bottom one and we can delete the roto brush and let's select this and there are a few things that you can play around you can play around with the feather for example i can set this to let's say 10 or 15 whatever you want depending upon how good your track was so once you're done with this we can add our video or the character by simply dragging it and let's place it between these two layers and if i move you can see now it is placing our like it is behind this and let's just pick a point so we are, here we have our character let's select this press r let's rotate it to an angle let's place it to this location and we can animate it so that it is coming behind this by adding a keyframe for position in the beginning we can like move it down only select the keyframes press f9 and here you can see we have our character and it is coming out so this is how you can add some characters now in order to like really sell this out we can have some shadow of this character as well so for that we can select this press ctrl d to duplicate this and this one we can just place them at the very top and let's search for fill and i'm going to drag it onto this one we can make it like really dark blue sort of thing and i'm going to change its mode to overlay so here you can see we are able to see some really nice shadow and we can apply some gaussian blur onto this 
and before we start increasing it we have to like flip this so for that we can add a null object let's select this video and parent it to this null select this null press s let's uncheck these and we can like flip this by simply using these values i'm going to set the value to negative 100 and after that we can place it where we have this character something like that and let's just make this smaller and let's place it to this location now we don't want to see this character outside this so for that we can use the track mat option let's select this and i'm going to track mat onto this video layer and make sure that this video layer is also visible so we can uncheck this so here you can see we are able to see the shadow and let's increase the blur blurriness to something like this we can press t and let's lower down the opacity so now if i press play we have our character and we can see the shadow is looking very nice and this is how you can create these kind of characters and it's completely up to you can like place one onto the shoulder one at the head you can go crazy with this however you want so this is how you can create these kind of character animations in after effects now if you want to get the tutorial project files for this character only it will be available on my patreon so if you're supporting me over there then you can download it from there and if you're not then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so make sure to check it out link for that is in the description and with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one